Hi everyone, so as some of you might have known, or if you just come here for a tutorial, um, I made an auto-tune version of Big Man Tyrone singing All-Star. If you want to check it out, it's in the description. But today I'm going to show you how I auto-tuned all of that. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and get that particular audio, audio file that I just recorded. Um, it's just in here. Um, it's just me singing a song that I like. Um, and it doesn't sound all too good. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and tune it up. So what I want to do first, and with that particular audio clip I used in that remix, I had to clean it up. So what I did, if you do have it, I doubt you will, but if you do have Adobe Creative Cloud, you want to open up a program called Adobe Audition. Um, and this is just like a process that I like to do just so that you can have like cleaner and you don't have much background noise. So I'm just going to drag that into this, into the editor. And here's all my audio. Now, usually with my microphone, it's usually pretty clean, but I'm going to try to find a, a good quiet spot. For example, the longest quiet spot, which is like over here. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this. And I'm going to go ahead and select it all. I'm going to right click and click. And then it will say the current audio selection will be captured and loaded as a noise print for use the next time the noise reduction effect is launched. Click OK. Um, you can deselect and all of that. Make sure that you zoom out. You go ahead and click effect. Noise reduction and noise reduction process and then just click apply. And then you can have a listen to it all again. Now, one thing I also like to do, I want to go into effects and also want to go ahead and click normalize process. I want to normalize it to minus six dB so that it doesn't clip. So that it doesn't go above the yellow, because if it goes beyond yellow, then it starts to clip and it sounds yucky. Like on here. Go, go before. Like it reaches it, but it's not it's going beyond too late. it. So I'm going to export the file. And I'm just going to save it like that. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to close out of all audition. Now what I'm going to use, I'm going to use FL Studio and Melodyne. If you don't have those two programs, go ahead and crack them. I don't care. Um, just make sure that you disable monetization on your video before you do it. Otherwise, you can actually be um, sued. Because basically, if you crack a program without using it... Oh, okay. Thanks, FL. But basically, if you use a program without you know, without doing it for money, then you'll be fine. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go put this... Oh, where's it gone? Is that what it saved as? Oh, wait, it saved in documents. Why did it do that? Man. I'm just going to go put that in there so I don't have to savage for files. So here it is. Now... Um, when you're doing music and stuff like that, you want to actually, um, you actually want to make sure that the tempo is right. And this is basically just, you know, going to Google and typing it. Not too hard. Should be able to find it. Like right here, BPM 151. And I didn't start it immediately, so I'm going to have to try time it with this metronome here. Oh. Oh. I was going to leave when you walked right through the door. Caught up in my mind, couldn't think straight anymore. Basically, I'm basically just play around that until you get it right. The way you held me down like an anchor. Put a word on my heart that I never felt before. 
And I'm just looking for company When I know that I shouldn't be You should go and find someone I hope that you don't Okay, and once you're done tying that up You can turn your metronome off Because you don't want to hear that all the time And you want to make sure that this particular thing By clicking on oops, By clicking on this green thing You want to set it to a particular channel So for this one I'm just going to set it to insert 8 Right click and click link select channels and it automatically links it. And if you want to test it out, just go, whoops, just want to go ahead and play through it I'm fine. and see if it goes to that channel. Turn. And as it has, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Melodyne effect. And Melodyne is basically my central effect for. Oh, where's my Melodyne gone? Oh, <laughs> um, my. It's basically my. Hold on. <laughs> there it is. Um, my go-to effect for all my Odotune stuff. And how this works, basically, I just go ahead. I'm going to have to listen to it all. Um, if you don't want this closing all the time, you can go ahead and click this arrow and click Detached so that it doesn't keep disappearing every time you click out. Same thing with this. Um, just click Detached up the top here. And then it all stays on top, which is really helpful if you're only using like two tracks. Um, if you've got an actual music project, then it might not be as useful, but it'll be way better. So what you're going to do, you're going to click transfer and you're going to listen to your entire clip that you're going to auto tune. So this means I'm going to have to listen to like halfway through when I was singing. And once it's done, it'll just basically stop the transfer and <clears throat> just keep playing as normal before it stops and oh. processes all so this is your entire track basically uh it's sensed where all the audio is and what kind of key it is in most likely and if it's not you can just change it by um changing it with this by clicking all the different ones. I don't know what key this is in. So I'm just going to assume this is right. So basically it just. You can just move around notes like this. Oh, Same reason why. There's remixes. Like Rick Astley's song. We're no strangers to love. I was going to leave. But you walked right through the door. Now obviously I don't want to sound like this. So. If I was doing an auto-tune like I was doing before, I would first of all select all, and then I'm going to hold down, I'm going to click the pitch modulation tool, and I'm going to double click. So now it should all sound completely straight, as in straightforward, it shouldn't sound wobbly or anything. I was going to leave, but you walked right through the door. Right. And if there's anything that sounds right. improper, you just move it right. around until it sounds right. I was gonna leave, but you walked right through the door. Caught up in my mind, couldn't think straight anymore. The way you held me down, like a neck. Like I was gonna. So basically, what this requires you to have is that you need to have a good ear, and you need to make sure that you know what you're listening to, and that you can hear what you're listening to, most essentially. So, with that, you're also going to make sure that it's perfect, you know, in, in the sense that it sounds like the original song, like how I did auto-tuning to All Stars. I basically had the original song on the track as well. I was gonna leave. But obviously, I didn't render that in. I was going to leave, but you walked right through the door. Now, to have... A pitch shifting effect, like for example, I guess you could say the T pain effect. Um, this is where this tool helps a lot. Um, where it's basically like a split tool. So I'm gonna show you right here what I'm gonna do. I was gonna leave, but you out front. So what this is where I want it to go up. So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and move. That back. 
I'm just gonna see if I can show you. I was gonna leave, but you walked right through. Nope. Oh, I was gonna leave, but you walked right through. I was gonna leave, but you right through. Right, 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 if it doesn't sound any weird, you can just tune it up like this. But if you want to make it a bit more easier, just put it onto this one and just slide across. But for this one, I'm not going to do anything, so I'm just going to undo everything. Since I can't use Control Z in this scenario, I'm just going to have to keep, keep doing this. The way you held me down like an anchor. Now, did you hear that? That was meant to be a minor key down. So where it sounds a bit funny, that's where it was meant to split. If you want to try get the actual note pitch right, uh, pitch if right in this, you can go back and then you can figure it out where the actual notes shift and just cut it like that. And then you just go back to working like normal. Nanka. Put a word on my heart and I never. Nanka. Word on my heart and I never. Word on my heart and I never. Word on my heart and I never. Word of my heart I never felt before. Word of my heart I never. Word of my heart I never. Word of my heart I never. Word of my heart I never Word of my heart I never Word of my You see, this program requires a lot of practice. I've been using this program for almost two, three years. So it's taken me a lot of practice to know what I'm doing right here. And it's actually easier than it looks. Once you get used to it, it's basically just, you know, oh, this thing does that. Oh, this, this note goes here. It's like, oh, I think I know how to do this thing in particular. So... I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Well, I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna be right back and show you another thing. All right. So just to make it easier on myself, I'm just gonna auto tune this part here. I'm gonna show you how to do a melody, basically. Um, so what I, how I do it, I just copy, then paste, and make sure that it's timed correctly by zooming in and making sure that the timing are completely the same. That's not what I was meant to do. Like so. Then I count oh, one, two. That might be more than two, so we're just gonna play that back. Oh, but what I feel. Nope, that is yuck. That is not oh, what I wanted. Oh, but what I feel. Oh, what? Oh, oh, what I, oh, what I, oh, what I feel for you isn't something I can help. Oh, oh, but what I feel for you, oh, oh, but what I feel for you isn't something I can help. There you go, and. This is the amplitude tool. This can either mute or you can or you can silence it slightly. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go only slightly down, and I'm gonna go minus six. See how that sounds. But what I feel for you isn't something I can help. Yeah, that doesn't sound. That does sound better, but it does sound a bit odd. But what I feel for you isn't something. I can help oh but what I feel for you isn't something I can help 
what I feel for you isn't something I can help. And you could also go down two octaves if you really wanted to. Like for example, if I go back. And move this back. I can also go down. Sorry, what I feel for you isn't something I can help. Also have a bit of a bit still effect. Also make that six. What I feel for you isn't something I can help. Now this isn't like this isn't something you need to do. This is just something I suggest you do because this is actually a really cool effect. And it's basically like three different people singing at once. And it's really good if you don't want to like re-record. If you are re-recording or if you're just auditioning someone else. You can make it sound like they're singing in a choir. Or if they're singing with backup vocalists when they're actually just singing with themselves. So yeah. Um, hopefully this is clear enough. Um, I'm sorry if this is not clear enough. Um, if you have any questions, please do comment down below. Um, I will not provide any download links because that is something that YouTube will not allow. Um, if you do, just go up and search a Torrent Bay or a Torrent Bay Proxy, search up FL Studio 11 and Melodyne and go get yourself some crack software. Um, not, not suggesting you should, but that's just something that you should do if you don't want to pay for it and if you're just doing this for fun. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you found this helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.